Hey guys, Ru here with another with Paul Bender. In this one, we're going to be talking about how can you hide specific areas of mesh to allow you to work uh, on difficult areas. Okay, just quickly before we start, guys, if you would like to improve your skills in hard surface modeling or in Blender in general, then consider joining our Patreon where we have tons of educational materials, courses, critiques, you know, decal packs, etc. There's a fantastic course coming to February. Uh, for add-ons and vanilla, we're gonna have some cool spaceship with sub demodeling and bullions and also some Unreal Engine stuff. So check us out, link in the video description. Thanks. Well, let's say we have this kind of a thing and I'm gonna scale it on Y axis supply scale. And you know, there is something really deep over there. And because my rotation is set to be around this origin point, you know, guessing in there is really tricky, right? So what you can do in a situation like this, you can do a few things. For example, you can go to edit mode, go to occlude with machine tools, or if you don't have machine tools, which you should press this uh, x-ray button. And, you know, so you can see that thing in the middle. And now we can do two things. For example, we could uh, box select this and press shift H, which will isolate this thing and allow us to, you know, rotate around the origin point of this thing, which is much more manageable. And now you can simply, you know, edit this thing and whatnot. But remember, when you go to object mode, everything's going to be back. So to recover the hidden uh, mesh in uh, edit mode, you need to press alt H. Okay, Alt H. Now, there's another way of doing this because um, this, you know, um, Shift H thing is based on on the vert on the geo, so you you can't sort of select half of the mesh with it if you know what I mean. So I couldn't just like slice this these faces here with Alt H because it wouldn't work because the faces go all the way you know uh, across this object, right? So what you can do instead, what you can use is Alt B. And Alt B is an alternate way of uh, using the box select and it will actually slice the mesh that you want to uh, have visible, you see? So even there is no geo here, there's no verts, no, no, no edges, no nothing you can separate this uh, from the main object and I can easily work you know uh, on this bit and do whatever you know, whatever you want with precision no problem and doesn't matter which mode you're in it's completely hidden you have to press alt b to get back you know uh, to the zone now there are two other things that I'd like to mention here and I have a separate video on this one but um, I'm gonna mention it here as well let's say you have more than one object let's maybe um, drop a loop loop here and let's control B this and let's go with curve extract and we're gonna have like a shell going on top of it right so let's say I want to edit something you know um, that is underneath this shell so I want to edit something on this main object right on the main object but I can't see it because, you know, it's underneath this shell. So you can press forward slash on a numpad to isolate something. If I wanted to do it with machine tools, you see, I can go multiple steps into the into the focus. So let's say I selected these. Whoa, just to select the uh, box cutter. I select these two and press Ctrl F and select this one and press Ctrl F. And I can go, you know, as deep as I want to. If I want to go back, I simply deselect everything, press Ctrl F, Ctrl F, you know, and you back in the zone right all right guys well that's it uh, these are all the tools that i'm using for this kind of situations when i need to get into a place where it's really difficult to you know access i'm using mostly machine tools as you've seen uh, for this one so grab it if you don't have it link in the video description that's it for the video give us a sub and like if you enjoyed the video thank you for watching catch you next one